Hey mamas, are you currently breastfeeding, have a newborn, or just feeling depleted in general and like you're constantly craving sugar? This video is for you. I'm going to have three tips as to why you might be craving sugar all the time or at least after a meal. All right, reason and tip number one. Are you making sure that you're having the right proportion of carbs, proteins, and fats in each of, each of your meals? This is really important because a lot of times when we're new moms, we're trying to lose weight, we're trying to take care of our babies, maybe we're eating a high protein diet, a high fat diet to try and do that. All of that is perfectly well and good. However, if you're depriving yourself of carbohydrates, then it's oftentimes gonna transfer into you craving more sugar, which might be why you're gonna finish you know, your meal and then all of a sudden, all you want is chocolate. I've totally been there where we keep reaching for the chocolate jar, even though we just had, you know, our really healthy lunch. So it's important to make sure that you're incorporating a lot of whole grains in with whatever diet you might be eating. So if you're going to have a high protein lunch, that's perfectly well and good. We really want to make sure you're eating as much protein as you should be, but make sure that you're also adding in those complex carbohydrates because that's what's going to help balance your blood sugar. So it's not going to drop super, super low. And all of a sudden you need a brownie in order to balance it back out. So making sure you're getting those whole grains in there will really help do that. And it's going to decrease some of those sugar cravings. Now, reason number two, why you might be craving sugar after every single meal, or just constantly feeling like you need that next sugar kick might be that you're not eating enough in general. Remember that breastfeeding is going to burn anywhere from 350 to 500 calories each day. That's actually more that we're supposed to be eating when we're breastfeeding versus when we're pregnant. Isn't that kind of crazy to think about that you need to be eating more now that the baby's out of your body because you're responsible for feeding them. And it is really taxing on our bodies. It uses a ton of energy to make breast milk. So that's why you're gonna be feeling hungry and you wanna make sure you're not depriving yourself because what happens is we start shaving off 100 calories at each meal. By the end of the day, we're absolutely ravenous and we're reaching for a Twix bar, which just completely negated any of the healthier meals you were trying to eat during the day when really maybe all you needed to do was sprinkle in an extra tablespoon of chia seed or add a little bit of extra peanut butter to your muffin in the morning. So tip number two is make sure that you're actually eating enough and that you're eating nutrient dense foods. Another great example of a nutrient dense food would be a hard boiled egg. I love having hard boiled eggs on hand because this makes it really easy. If at the end of a meal I go, Ooh, I'm still, you know, wanting maybe a cookie or something. Am I really wanting a cookie or do I just need to feed myself something a little extra and a cookie happens to be what's the most convenient. Instead of reaching for the cookie, try a hard boiled egg, maybe try a piece of fruit. See if that's going to be enough to keep you going. And if you actually want the sugar, you know, that's okay. That's what we're going to get to in tip number three. However, make sure that you're not compensating for actually needing more nutrient dense food instead of just reaching for a cookie. And then as I mentioned, tip number three is make sure you're not just doing it out of habit. You know, I used to be such a dessert person where almost any time after I finished a meal, give it breakfast, lunch, dinner, you name it. It was, okay, what am I going to have that sweet next? Am I going to put whipped cream on my coffee? Am I going to add some marshmallows? You know, it's my trail mix. Like I've come up with all the creative options of how I could sneak extra sugar into my diet. And then one day I realized that I was almost just doing it out of habit and I didn't even want to be eating, you know, those chocolate pieces. It was just kind of something that I was doing out of instinct. Um, so being aware of that and then actually thinking, do I want to eat that or am I doing it out of habit? And then maybe finding a way to replace it. So during my pregnancy, I loved having peppermints on hand. So peppermints kind of became this really simple way to almost refresh and cleanse my palate. I would then be able to go back to work, be able to, you know, think clearly. And then later on, if I started to get hungry again, be able to honor those hunger cubes, but actually be aware of what I was hungry for and not just completely eating out of habit. So I hope these three tips have helped. I just want to do a really quick recap. If you find that you're craving sugar, you know, throughout the day, or if you're craving sugar after a meal and you're a breastfeeding mom, here are my three tips. And this is just a really quick recap. One, make sure you're getting the right equation of macronutrients, meaning that you're still including those complex carbohydrates with your proteins and fats. Number two is make sure that you're eating enough. Remember breastfeeding is so taxing. And when we hit that deficit, a lot of times it looks like us craving sugar a lot more than we typically do. And tip number three is be aware of if you're eating out of habit or if you're actually craving some of those certain sweet foods. 
So I really hope that this video has helped. If you want to drop me a comment about anything else that you'd like to see, I would love to get back to you. I'm Ashley Hawk RD. Please hit subscribe and get in touch with me so I can help create some more helpful content for you.